hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a pattern sew along to my dog bandana pattern that is available now on my etsy shop for you guys to download and print at home and make it yourself so my pattern comes with five sizes from extra small all the way to extra large i have the size recommendation for each size for the neck um and on the next page we have the pattern pieces so for the extra small and the small they were able to fit in the page but for the other sizes medium all the way to extra large we need to assemble them really quick so for these sizes you're gonna get part one and part two so let's do size medium to quickly show you how to assemble this also i always recommend that you print out these out of cardstock paper it's way easier um and they last okay so we're gonna need some tape and for um this we're not overlapping we're just meeting the two pieces just like this okay um and also like i said earlier cardstock is always better just because they last longer i always recommend that whenever you're buying and printing out pdf patterns um print it out of cardstock because they last a little bit longer than just like the regular paper um but yeah let me quickly tape this together so i always like to get one piece first and i like to use the transparent tape to make it easier for me when I'm taping this so yeah like I said like I said earlier um, we're just matching it we're not overlapping okay and you have your piece okay, you're gonna do the same step for the other sizes large and extra large when you're connecting part one and part two anyways moving on let's start cutting our little bandana so we're gonna be cutting out two pieces so one out of the main fabric and then the one that's gonna go in the back of the bandana so Okay, so I have both pieces um, cut out already and the next step is optional. You don't have to do this, but normally when it comes to my girly bandanas, I like to add fun trims like pom-pom. Um, and I will link this where I purchased from Amazon. I will link it as well in the video description. Uh, but yeah, so we're gonna sew from this corner all the way to this corner. And also keep in mind that we're sewing the trim inward just because remember we're gonna sew these two pieces together later on so yeah let me quickly sew this up right now and i'll be right back okay so once your trim is sewn we're going to now place right sides together for both of the pieces and we're gonna leave an opening on the top And I also cut another one without the trim so you guys can kind of see how it looks like. So we're going to do the same steps for this one. If you're not doing the trim right, you're going to skip that part. We're going to place them right sides together. And... Leave an opening on the top. So I forgot to mention this, but we're doing a one-fourth seam allowance all around the bandana. Okay, so I quickly went on to my ironing station. I did a nice press on these. Oh, they look so adorable. Okay, so now um, we're gonna do a top stitch so we could close the opening gap here. So yeah, stitch all around. Okay, let's.
Okay, so now we're going to flip the banana back and we're gonna create the casing, right? So we're gonna do corner to corner and we're gonna sew across and that creates a little casing in here so that way you could put in your collar. Um, so yeah, let me quickly pin this. So yeah, this is how they turned out. So adorable and really easy. And the best part is that if you sew a lot and you have extra um, fabric left over, you could always make these little bandanas. Um, so yeah, the pattern will be linked in the video description for you guys to check out if you guys are interested. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.